Oh, wow. That's crazy. Yeah, these wax moth have absolutely loved, loved this colony. Okay, so we're here today in Coventry. This is a colony of bees that I did a quote for at the end of the summer last year. And I've just drawn out, I'll put a picture up of the thermal image right now. Um, you can just about make out where I've drawn a circle around where the colony is in that wall. This one we're going to do from inside. They don't tend to be very happy when you do them from inside, but on this one it's quite high up, so we've got no choice other than to do it inside here. So we've got the nuke ready. We're going to start taking this apart. I've got the first brick out, and the first thing I've, first thing I've noticed immediately is all these wax moth, wax moth casings that they've tried to... You can see there, they've tried to propolise them shut, maybe to stop them getting out. But this is full of wax moth uh, larva. Um, and I reckon it has starved due to these horrible, horrible wax moths. So as we can see, it appears that this colony has been decimated by wax moth. And it hasn't made it through the winter. Well, we're going to find out. I'm going to start taking it all apart. But I don't think they're actually alive because I haven't even heard a slight little buzz. So this, in theory, is a dead out. Now, people are probably wondering, why don't I just leave this in here and put the brick back in? The problem is, in the summer, a colony will just move back in here and then this will grow and grow and grow. And I've told the customer that for whatever reason, there's no insulation in his cavity. And I've noticed just now um, where the bees were getting in, in, in the UK, when we get scaffolding, they chisel out a bit of uh, mortar and they hammer in a peg, which the scaffolding gets attached to. And there's one here, one there, and one there, and one there, where the people who do the scaffolding didn't repoint the holes that they'd made. So this leaves a massive void that will just attract honeybees in the future. But it's less likely to attract bees without the smell of bees in here and that hive missing. So we're going to start getting this out now. And also, I might mention that the wax moth, you can end up with them in your house. And I mean, you can, they're quite gross little things, but you'll end up with them all in your house. It's not a good thing. So you just need to get them removed sensibly. Right. I take that back. I've just started wiggling all these uh, pieces of comb to take them out and I can hear bees in there. So back to the uh, bee removal then. And we're going to find out where they're actually residing. I've got a feeling they might be a bit lower down. Okay, so we've got more of the colony access now. You can see all this. This is here is all signs of wax moth that have uh, eaten the wax and then pooed it away. I mean, it's literally like a web, yeah. What a shame. What a shame. The wax moths have absolutely just decimated this colony is a real shame now in these situations i would put a safety board there but the cavity wall insulation is actually up to that level so i only have to reach down to get it and the bees don't appear to be alive but i do keep hearing the occasional buzz so it might be the last remaining bits of the colony i mean look at that look at that it's just all a big web of of, of silk it's like wool goes to show that nature is quite a nasty thing sometimes and it's all just it's just taken that's crazy that's like a woolly jumper that is i'm re i'm still hoping i'll find some colony in here because i can hear stuff like i say i mean could be the last bee could be the last bee kind of a blessing if it isn't alive in the sense that it'll be easier to remove oh wow that's crazy yeah these wax moths have absolutely loved loved this colony no way i've never seen that before that is very interesting so here we go as a piece of comb i'm sure you all know what that's meant to look like Look at that. That's, I, want to, I need to show you this in more detail. Look at that. So this is, this is your comb. This is fairly decent condition. And the rest of it has turned into a weird poo and silk. That, I've never seen that before. Look at that. 
you see the comb and then they've slowly crept their way up and made this horrible I mean you've got these bugs in here as well I'm not entirely sure what that bug is I'm sure people let me know but I mean that is that's quite interesting to see the damage wax moth can do look at this creepy crawly here Say again, what did you think? A, cre <laughs> a creepy crawly. <laughs> it's uh, a maggot that's in the uh, that's in the honeycomb. You can see all the webbing around that. This here you can see is uh, telltale signs of starvation, where their bums are sticking out. So there we go, colony's out. It's all sealed back up. I've also sealed the hole on the outside. So on to the next one.